I declare Welcome. the scripture, Faith, City Zechariah 2, 5, over Faith, Faith City, City Outreach, out the world to where the Lord Christian says, and, and I biblical myself solutions, will as well be as a praying wall for the of fire around it, Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, Lord, says, be strong and, and courageous, be do not be afraid or terrified because of it. Welcome to Faith Lord City Outreach, this is Marina Maria, with today's special guest, music in this broadcast, provided courtesy of zapsplat.com. And a now, worldwide leader host, in the Maria fight against Maria. human trafficking. Thank you, Rosie, for being on Faith City Outreach to share your new and powerful book, Blank Page, which shares the journey of human trafficking victims. I also want to thank you so much for writing this book because it shares the true stories of people who were once victims of human trafficking, but now are survivors. Rosie, why is it important? Thank you, Marina. It's oh. such an honor. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. It's an honor to have you too, Rosie. I want to ask you, why is it important for the world to read your book, Blank Page, which shares the true stories who were in human trafficking but now are survivors? Well, this book... It means so much for me because when we started to have shelters, we would give girls who were completely destroyed, who were so depressed, or few of them were very angry. They wanted to hit everything. They wanted to hit the wall. They wanted to hit the people. Most of them were depressed. They didn't want to leave. So we started in the shelters by giving them the white piece of paper for writing a new project of life to help them to dream again because they didn't have any more dreams. Their lives were completely destroyed after 30, 40, 50 men were raping them every day. So that's why we wrote this book about the dreams that has come true, the girls that are such an inspiration for us, and one boy who was forced to prostitution from 14 to 17 years, and also a family who were pimps, who were in jail for 11 years, and now they received the Lord in jail. He became a pastor inside, and now wow. he works with us. Wow. What a great testimony. Rosie, did the blank page help them dream again? Yes, yes, Marina. Uh, it takes time. Some of the girls will take the blank, blank page and will stare many days without writing anything, nothing. They will be, one of them, two years without dreaming. She's Carla Jacinto, she's in the book. She's in, in this book, in the story. Carla Jacinto has a very difficult time, had a very difficult time because she was first in a, such an injustice because she was in this house where the mother will hit her, will be very violent. At five years old, she started to be abuse in her own house by family. Then at 12, she was with a boyfriend. She, be, she, she believed that he was the prince of, on, on her life, Prince Charles, Charms. And, and she went to live with him when she was 12. He was 22. He was a very famous and dangerous pimp. She, he went to, to, he took her to live in Tlaxcala and forced her to prostitution from 12 to 16. And she, he was so violent, he hit her almost every day with sticks, with cables, with the boots, with, with uh, iron in the, in the point. And uh, she took almost two years to start her book of dreams to start to write in the blank pages. Uh, she had the blank page in blank for so long. But now she's doing incredible. She has 
finished her high school. She's studying at beauty. She knows how to cut the hair, to do the nails. She has a beautiful family, an incredible boyfriend who is a businessman, now broken with the coronavirus, but he's broken completely now because he used to make the parties for girls and boys. He, he was, you know, to have the clown, the magician, and to go to houses to do the parties, and now there is no parties now. So, but they are, they are believers. They believe that, that everything will work for good. And today they were looking at ways to, to help us with the little ones because we have too many shelters. They are worried that we, we have to, I, I cannot close. You know, this is not a business. This is like a family and I have so many children. So they are trying to help me. They are working in, in, in ideas to, to help us. So I'm so blessed to have them as family. That's amazing. So even the victims who become survivors end up wanting to help the cause. Right? Yes. Awesome. Yes, yes. Many of them. Many of them. One of them, that Carla Jacinto, and the, and the boyfriend, they, they both want to help the little ones. But another one who is admirable also, many of them, but one that was, that was very famous in the world because she was in chains, literally in chains, with more than 600 bruises in, in his uh, body. You can even watch the story because in the book, I don't know, Marina, if you, if you notice that there is this QR yes. code. Yes. So you can put your telephone... And you can watch uh, with your telephone, if you put like the picture, you, if you, like if you are going to take a picture, right. and then it opens a video. So you can watch the story. This is Luis Armando, the boy who became a, a singer, a famous singer. He was in, in, the, in a very national contest. So here yes. is the story of him, and you can watch his story in the, with, the, with your telephone. Yes, you know, I started to read his story and it was amazing because this is the first time I read a story about a boy who is, um, you know, into who was a victim of human trafficking. And yes. it all started with him um, posting or responding to a Facebook post for uh, and it was an ad for um, him to attend a special event right? Yes. And then it so happened that it was a trap. Yes. Yes, because this is always an injustice over and another injustice and over. He comes from a home where the father went to jail. The mother, when he was 14, was uh, uh, kidnapped and raped in Tamaulipas, a state that is mm -hmm. with a lot of crime. Mm -hmm. So the mother went to live to another state and the producer of music, who was his teacher, said, he's like a son for me, leave him with me. And he started to abuse him, to force to, him to prostitution in Facebook. Then uh, he became very violent with him. Uh, threatened him that he was going to tell the whole world about the father and that the father was going to go again to jail. So he had a horrible life, but he learned how to sing beautiful. So wow. a very famous singer who is Judy yeah. met him in the national contest and he opened his heart with Judy for a man, it's very difficult to open their heart. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so he did it. And then Judy said, well, I have a friend who helps women. I don't know if he, he's, she's going to be able to, to help him, a boy. And of course, of course, I, I met him. He's incredible. If you open the QR I will. story... You will watch him and you will listen to his voice. He has such a gifted voice. 
and he's a Christian, he preaches now, and guess what? He's the head of the shelter of the boys with the wife, who is Samantha. They have a little girl, one year old, and they both with another couple, that is Jesus and Erika, it's um, the, the people that has worked with us in the ministry for so many years, 25 years ago. So uh, Jesus and Erika supervise their work, but Luis Armando and Samantha are the example for the little boys of how somebody with the strength of the Lord has become a leader, has become an incredible uh, singer, and now he's singing where the children were crying. Oh, that is so touching. I bet the uh, children love him and everybody else there loves him too in the shelter, right? (laughs) That is really touching. Now, so so did God give you the title uh, for this book, Blank Page? Well, because this is the newborn nature. You know, when I, when I became a Christian, it was in Israel. I was with my husband in our honeymoon in Israel. And the people who shared the gospel to me, they spoke about how God will put my, my sin like, like something that he throws to the to the ocean and will never, and that I will become a new creature, that I was going yes. to born again. And it was like to write a new story from nothing. Wow. So the first two boys that came to our shelter, when we opened the first shelter, let me tell you, in all the continent, because United States in October in 2017, there was no shelter for boys in all America. And the two boys that came from Torreón, Coahuila, in the north of Mexico, uh, in the plane, I was with them and I told them, I gave them all the, the trip in the plane, I gave them the white piece of paper, the blank page. And I said to them, Javier, you are leaving your past behind. Miguel, you will write a new story from zero. Wow. When, you, like, when, when we uh, land, the, land in the, the plane, you will have a new way of life, completely different. And two months later, with a very bad spelling, <laughs> but a beautiful letter came to me written by one of them saying, thank you for giving me a blank page. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Rosie, I read the first story of your book, Blank Page, about Lucero, which I think you were talking about Lucero at the very beginning of the radio interview. She managed to escape from her dealer in Washington, and eventually she contacted your program United Against Trafficking Commission through social media. Mm -hmm. Now she is in recovery and has dreams of becoming a writer and an activist. Does this happen often that a sex trafficking victim contacts you for help? Yes, yes. Recently, well, Lucero contact Carla Jacinto, the one that I was speaking about. Carla yes. Jacinto, she's very famous. If you Google Carla Jacinto with K, uh-huh. the most famous uh, activist now because took a long time for her to recover. But when she recovered, she was invited, for example, to Vatican, to the biggest event I have been invited that it was all the leaders, the religious leaders of the world. The Pope Francis, the Archbishop from Canterbury, the Mulan, the Ayatollah from Iran, the main rabbi from Argentina, the main one from uh, Buddhist, the main one from Hindu. It was amazing. 
Andrew Forrest, a, 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 a businessman very famous from Australia, was the one who put everybody together. And Carla Jacinto was the one who spoke there about her new life. She spoke about her testimony. And it was so nice because at the end, nobody spoke about religion because everybody was so, so respectful. But she, she didn't know. She was only giving her testimony. But at the end of her testimony, she said, and now I want to pray for all of you. And she didn't ask, she prayed. <laughs> it was so nice the way she prayed. That's good. God and bless the, the Pope and bless the Archobis and the bless the, Everybody. the Rabbi. She was so, so unique, so uh, beautiful. And so genuine. But was so touched. So genuine, that's the word. <laughs> and I love her. And then the second time she went, she spoke, and she was the one who invented, she was the one with our publicist, the, mm -hmm. that is Clemente Camara. She sat with Sunduri, the one that was in chains, mm -hmm. and they both, I have the picture, were talking about, you know, a campaign that could be uh, symbolic of how they changed their way of life. And that's where the blank page came, you know, because they explained how they started writing their new books, their new life. They started they dreaming both. again. Yes, dreaming again, <laughs> dreaming again. So when they went for the second time to Vatican, it was with the, all the mayors of the world, 73 or 74 mayors, you know, the Bill de Blasio, the mayor from San Francisco, the mayor from New Orleans, the mayor from Stockholm, the mayor from Paris and Hidalgo, many, 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 many. And they were speaking about their testimony and how this blank page was so important for them. Praise the Lord. Yeah, it was wonderful. What are what is another way that you're getting the victims of sex trafficking to go through your program? Well, the little little ones, it's so sad because most of them comes from a home where the mother of this or the stepmother were was the one who forced them to prostitution. So we have um the the all the the cases come from the general attorneys from yeah. each state. And you work with them? You work with yeah. those agencies? Yeah. Okay. Sadly, only 12 from 32, 20 states don't, does not do anything. 12 from 32 are the ones who rescue children. So they have rescued one of the girls that changed my life completely. All of them, I love them completely, but a little girl whose mother, who only family is the mother, and the mother was taking her to their rooms in the hotels to force her to prostitution. And when she arrived to the general attorney, the doctor who was going to examine, the woman doctor who was going to examine her, asked her, take away your clothes. And she went so furious and said, are you going to pay for that? And she was, she's only six years old, only six years old. So when I received her, you know, I decided to take care of my health. Before that, I was not caring about my health because I thought, you know, the mother and everybody in this society, every client, you know, fail and, and damage her. And it was such an injustice. So... I, I will have 14 years ahead to help her until she graduates from university. So that beautiful girl was the first one that arrived so young. And now two weeks ago, um, another six year old and an, another nine year old came and the mother was for, for, forcing her to prostitution, but also was taking her with a backpack with a very high drug, a very dangerous drug that they were having to, to deliver. So it's stories that breaks your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, and I cannot fail to them. I, 
This book, it's going to be in English. It's going to be a blank page in Amazon very soon, maybe two weeks from now. But every royalty goes for them, goes for the girls. So if you buy it in Spanish or you buy it in Amazon, you put uh, Ojen Blanco in Spanish, blank page in English, you will be helping these little girls that I adore and I need to, to help them for so long. So if you go inside our web page, that is Comisión Unidos, mm -hmm. comisiónunidos.org. If you go to comisiónunidos.org, you can give monthly to these children. You can donate $10, $20, Any amount. $1,000. Whatever you want, but we need now any amount because um, we are in problems now. Many of the business people who were helping us with the coronavirus are broken, are now closing restaurants, closing business. I was going to ask for the coronavirus. Yeah, these these people are having problems now, and well. There is too many people in the world that to give $20 is not going to be more rich or more poor. But if we get 1,000 people giving us $20, we can, we can help completely one of the shelters. So it's very important for us to, to have donations monthly in Comisión, with S, Comisión, C O M Comisión Unidos dot org the, uh, the, the, the line like this the slash. Mm -hmm. well, you can you can even look in the web page and it says donación that is donation. Can they look up United Against Trafficking Commission? Oh thank you. Would that be it? Yes, yes, you can, okay. you can open it. No, 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 in English, no. No. Oh, so sadly. Oh, no. it's all. It's all. It's oh, in Spanish. Okay. Somebody, somebody can say, "Hey, I donate for you the translation." Now I, we need it because okay. we will need the help of the world to be able to continue with the programs for the children. Yeah. So I know your book is in Spanish only, but it's um, being um, translated in English very it soon. Is, it's in the process. How is it going in Spanish? In Spanish, it's going well. Even What's the though, reaction of people? Uh, we are now trying to get more in internet by Amazon because people is not going to the bookstores. So thanks God, if you are even afraid of receiving the book, you can download it for Kindle. You can download it and read it in your computer. And even there you can watch the movie, the, the, the films from each of the victims and you can see the stories of them in video. But uh, it's, it's good, it's going good, but it's starting. And the coronavirus came when we were starting. We were, we were starting to have many uh, conferences. So I really uh, thank to you, Marina, because this is a very important space now that we can tell the world about the book. And in two or three weeks, blank page is going to be in English. We are just waiting because very important people is writing to us an, an endorsement for the book. So I'm so Praise happy the Lord. and so blessed that I'm going to have so many endorsements. See. Well, I'm excited for you because I just sense that it's going to open doors in other countries and not only in the United States in English language, um, but in other languages. Yes. yes. So be ready to translate it in, in German and, you know, maybe Chinese. I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's a very good idea, Marina. And maybe somebody, <laughs> you, you have so many followers that maybe somebody who can speak Chinese or Portuguese or French maybe can help us to translate it in other languages because every book will be a blessing for these children and if somebody here can hear the voices of those children that need to finish university and those that haven't been rescued, please help us to translate, help us to, to give them the education they, they deserve. 
and that they will never ever again be trapped in human trafficking slavery. Rosie, what advice do you give men and women about protecting themselves from being a victim of sex trafficking? Thank you to, to ask for that because it's very important that families will understand that this can happen to everybody. That the human trafficking does not respect color, race, uh, status, money or not money. Everybody can be because now people are very involved in the internet and these people are professional. So there is three traps that I will aware to the families and to your children. First is to be deceived by love, the trap of love, false love. These people know how to make feel a woman, a young lady special and they are the professional in the, in the lies, in the deceive, and this false love will take them away from their, their families. They try to get you to another country, to another city, and then you are vulnerable. The second trap, the second way to deceive the people is the false jobs. Um, in Mexico, um, in many countries, if, even, you know, invitation to go to another continent, another country, but in Mexico, some of the girls that were, you know, trapped by these people, they will think that they are going to go to a very good job where they're going to earn so much money doing so little. That's the, the red sign to know that that cannot be true. You are going to be, you know, in, in this job that you're going to earn so many millions or dollars, but you're go it's not true. And the third, the third mistake, the third trap is deceived to be, you know, famous. The trap of being famous like like Luis Armando, you know, you're going to mm -hmm. sing, you're going to be famous, I'm going, I am a, a music, musical producer, and you are going to be so famous. And, you know, he had an incredible voice, and he wanted to, to become a singer, and of course it's a, a very normal dream to be, you know, in, a, in the front page of a, of a magazine, or, you know, it's, it's normal that you want to be somewhere in the world famous by your gifts. But these people know how to exploit this and then you're trapped. That's, that, that is what I would say to be aware, to be careful, because those three are the main traps. But what about the advice... Um for the parents who have little children, mm -hmm. what, would you, what advice would you give them about well, protecting them from human trafficking? Of course, never leave them by themselves. To teach the children, of course, how to, to take care, not to go with strangers, of course, not to accept candies or things that people wants to give them in a park or in a public place or in a neighbor, to know how to call home, even when they are very young, to know where is your address, your telephone, your main, um, your name, your last name. You know, it's so important as soon as they speak, as soon as they can understand to know perfectly well all the details about where they live, the telephone, their parents, everything. But of course, to be so careful, never to leave them by themselves, not for a second. People are worse than ever looking for children for the worst violence in the internet. 80% of the pornography is so violent and so many, I was reading that more than 50% growing in the violence, in the abuse of children in internet, in the web pages. 
and that was New York Times in February, where, where it says that 50% raising the amount of, of videos of violence against children, so abuse of children. So be careful because these people are looking like like animals, like beasts. I I I, I don't have a word for that people. You know, God forgive them. God really. I, I don't have words. I, I don't understand how somebody can make so much yeah. damage to children. Yeah, it's the enemy who comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Rosie, what states and the in people, America... And the people that click... Excuse me? I was going to say, the people who... who, who I, want, I wanted just to finish that... Uh, that about pornography, child pornography, yes. and and this violence. But every person who click the button, mm -hmm. who click the mouse to say yes to pornography, are as guilty as the ones that are forcing them to do these acts. The people who are trapped to pornography, the people who click that button are really monsters. And because of them, many children are disappearing from home. Mm -hmm. Many people are suffering from the worst violence because of the people who click the bottom of pornography. Right, because they're supporting the violence of pornography. Yes, yes. And many of these girls have disappeared from home and now you are doing what you will not like to happen to your own child. Mm -hmm. So please just ask for help. I know that some people are addicted. There is a very good good uh, page in internet that is called uh, 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 Fight the New Drug. Fight the New Drug. Please go and watch that. Ask for help if you are addicted to pornography because you are as guilty as the person who takes away a child from a, from home and who forces them to prostitution and to force them to these videos. When you click and you say yes to pornography, you are doing something that could, I, I wish I asked God not to happen, but if you click that, one day could be your sister, one day could be your daughter, one day. And I ask God never to happen. Ask for help because the people who click those uh, pornography pages are doing uh, uh, such damage. You know, even human trafficking will not exist if client would, wouldn't exist. I mean, the problem is that the clients, the demand, so exactly. every people, every people, every man or woman, because some of the girls were bought by women, every man or woman who are in pornography, who are buying human beings, are as guilty as are as horrible as monsters as the people that are pimps. Rosie, what states in America have a high rate of human trafficking? Texas is number one. Houston is the number one city, and Atlanta has a big problem, and, and of, of course, New York. And the worst nightmare that I have ever heard in my life is the cities that wants to legalize prostitution, like New York. People who are trying to pass bills that they will, they will name a pimp, will be now a, a legal businessman. In where? New York, for example, is one of the ones that are, there is five cities, five cities uh -huh. that are trying to do that now. If, if you allow me, I send you the cities because I don't have here that information, I was not prepared. But New York is number one who is pushing this bill to try to legalize what is a crime converted 
even to legalize the places where they are forced to prostitution. And believe me, even if they say, hey, I'm here because I want, yes, but how did you arrive there? In, in, in Europe, for example, France passed a, the, the whole opposite bill. France, a country that is really a progressive country, and they knew that 98% of the women were in immigrants that were that came to France with such a poverty life, and now they were in that situation of prostitution. So France passed a bill to punish the demand. The man who goes and tries to buy sex, the first time, 1,500 euros of punishment. Second time, 3,750 euros of punishment. And that money now goes for those girls who came to France as migrants and they were trapped by the traffickers. And now they can say, hey girl from Nigeria, do you want to have a university? Do you want to have a job? Here is this one taken by the people who were uh, now the, the, the buyers, the, the demand, and now you can have, now you can uh, address this money for your university. That's France. So why New York will go to the other side to legalize and now to name a pimp is going to be named, you know, businessman. That's incredible. That's really so bad for New York. That is appalling because I was going to ask you if human trafficking has decreased over the years since there has been more of a social awareness, but it sounds like it hasn't decreased. And this crisis that we are suffering, coronavirus, sadly, it's going to leave so many people without job. So these horrible monsters who are the traffickers know. And it's so sad because slavery will grow. We have the worst time in the story, in the history. We have more slaves than never before. And sadly, coronavirus is not going to help us. So we have to pray for these people. You know, I wanted to share the, the, the verses of the Bible was what inspired myself to, to fight against trafficking. Sure. I would like, it's Isaiah 62, and I love those verses because since I read it, I know that the Lord was calling me to, to do, you know, the difference in, in my life. Since then, I am completely devoted to change the story of, of, of these people who now I love so much. So let me, it says, for Mexico's sake, in, in the Bible says for science sake, okay? <laughs> but for Mexico's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for my Mexico City sake, I will not rest. And to all the cities in Mexico, I will not rest until her righteousness goes forth and brighten, uh, as brightness, as her salvation, as a lamp that burns. The Gentiles shall see your righteousness and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, by, you know? You shall be called by a new story also, <laughs> okay? Hmm. Because people will call you not prostitute but you, they will call you activists. They will call you with a new name, which the mouth of the Lord will name. You shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no longer term forsaken, nor shall your land any more be termed desolated, but you shall be called Hepzibah and your land, land Beula, for the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. And in the, in, in, later, it says something so beautiful about, you know, the, the people who are slaves, they don't have their own food from their, their work. 
It says, the Lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. Surely I will no longer give your grain as food for your enemies. And your songs of the foreigner shall not drink your new wine for which you have labored. You know, to end slavery is so important for the Lord. And in this wonderful Isaiah 62, it says at the end, indeed the Lord has proclaimed to end of the world. Say the daughter of Zion, say the daughter of Mexico, say the daughter of uh, Arkansas or the uh, wherever you live. Say to the daughter of Mexico, surely your salvation is coming. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. And they shall call them holy people, the redeem of the Lord. And you shall be called soft out a city not forsaken, a city with a blank page, with a new story that we want from Mexico. Amen. And I was going to ask you, and that is so beautiful, because it relates to me asking you, uh, was the calling to be a worldwide leader in the fight against human trafficking a hard calling for you to accept? Or has it been a struggle? I think um, the Lord was very strategic because first, we, my husband and me, we started to serve the Lord. We opened Casa Sobre la Roca, that is our ministry, and we have 11 um, campus that we have the churches. Mm-hmm. And in that, in those places, we, we started to help young people and marriages and a lot of people. And then the Lord called us to Washington in 2005 to an event that was called the Bridge Project. It was made by by um, the Ministry Concert Women of America, Bill and Be- Tim and Beverly Lahai. Lahai. And in that event, we learn about human trafficking. They, the first day we watch a movie that is called Lila Forever. And in that movie, it explains, uh, the, you know, it's uh, the true life of a little girl, even though it was um, like, like a movie, but it was a little girl who was, uh, the mother abandoned her. She goes to live uh, with the aunt, then she ends in the streets. Uh, Pim came and she believes that he's going to help her. He takes her to another country, and in that country, she starts to be raped every day, forced her to prostitution 14 to 15 years uh, of age. When she escapes, you love her by that time, and she's adorable. And you feel, you know, uh, what a release she escaped. She she jumps from a bridge and she kills herself. So I cry for a week. I always, when I remember, I feel so, so pain in my heart. I cry and cry and cry all the event, five years, five, five days, five days. I cry. Then they asked us to make a commitment, and we had five different subjects. Awareness, prevention, law enforcement, prosecution, and restoration. My husband and me were the only ones who said, we want to do the restoration of the girls. And we came back to Mexico. There was no law. There was no shelters. There was no authorities who were um, listening. But in 2007, we opened the first shelter. I always wear this logo, this this little doll, <laughs> the logo from the from the shelter that is Fundación Camino a Casa, the first shelter that was open in Mexico. And I always wear this and my blue heart from UN, that means uh, human beings are not for sale. And that's my jewelry, that's my jewels. I, I, every day I remember that I live 
for rescuing and restorate, restorate the girls. And I leave for the people to understand that human beings are not for sale. How have you been able to get so much international support? Well, I think one of the best allies, of course, these people from Washington, and now I am linked to a movement in Washington, in DC. But also, um, I, I am so grateful to Pope Francis and the movement that Vatican has against trafficking. I have been for the last four years, 20 times in events that really moves the world to end human trafficking. And it's a huge effort by the Pontifical Academy that is in Vatican. Uh, the, can the Chancellor Marcelo Sanchez Orondo was appointed by the Pope to do this uh, training, these events, these seminars that has been incredible. And that's how also I'm part of CAP. CAP is the Coalition Against Prostitution. Gregoire uh, uh, Tari is the, one of the main leaders and he has been many times in Mexico and I have been with him in France. And I, I really admire the people in the world that are doing a big effort to end human trafficking. Now, I know Blank Page is also a social movement. Yes. yes. I read that in your book and this is what I read. So it symbolizes trafficking survivors. Um, is a social movement that symbolizes trafficking survivors' potential to create a new future, and that your goal is for this movement is that um, that the community would defend the victim's right to start over without being stigmatized. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Many of the girls that has been with us. Uh, they, when they grow, they are older, uh, they want to give their testimony in many places. So they, they explain about how their life has changed completely and how they have this white piece of paper, the blank page, and they, giving their testimony, they prevent in many places and also they train some of our officials, our police, for example, Carla Jacinto, when she was 12, she was in a hotel and the police will arrive even in uniforms. And she was believing that they arrived to rescue her. But no, they arrived to rape her. And they, they even uh, uh, filmed everything and threatened them. If you say something, I will post this in media and they will be so mean to them. So it's so sad that people will damage children like that. But let me tell you what is a blank page. She's the first one to train police. And I read that in your book that she, she did the training for more than 20,000 police officers in Mexico City. Yes, yes. And all of them were with a blank piece of paper, with a blank page in their hands. What in was the their hands. reaction? Well, they were silence, no noise. Everybody was listening to Carla Jacinto. And I bet they never went back to do that because she's so powerful when she speaks. She's incredible. She's one of the most gifted ones. So um, that's why she's so famous in the world because her story has been translated to so many languages. I was with her in Dubai. She came with me to Dubai thanks to a, a businesswoman who helped us. And in Dubai, a uh, journalist came, and when he started to listen to Carla, he said, hey, I already read your story. So oh. even it, then after the Bible went to India, and many people from India already has been writing to her, even men who says, I want to marry you. 
because she never <laughs> answered, and she, of course, knows that could be a trap. <laughs> yes, I was course. gonna say, <laughs> of course, of course, she knows, she knows. Yeah, but I would so, love to have her in the at, you know come and share her her story too. Oh, she loves, and she has <laughs> she can she can do the same as we are doing. She has Zoom. She was today. She works with me. She works in our in Comisión Unidos. Uh-huh. Or, 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 and she was today in a Zoom co- uh, conference with uh-huh. all the people that worked with us. Uh, every morning we we have our meetings at nine. So anytime you want her, she's so good. And let me tell you, there is two of her companions, two of the girls. One is in this book, and it's called Nelly. And two of them speaks perfectly English now. Uh, awesome. Patty, Patty has finished her TOEFL, and she was forced to prostitution as well as Carla. And many of them has finished master degree, has finished English. You know, they are incredible. And now we have the little ones. So if you are joining this conference, please help us with $20, $50, whatever you can do monthly can give us now the stability for the children. Yes. Because we have to give them the same as we gave Carla, as we gave, gave Nelly. Let me tell you something that I say in the book. You were starting to say about it. But let me explain. Um, Jewish people has the right concept of giving. Um, they, the rabbi comes and says, give me your sedaka righteousness. We're not talking about being generous because now with the coronavirus, nobody even wants to give. It's people like with fear, you go mm-hmm. again with, like when you are where a baby, that you don't know how to relate to others, that you are so selfish. You go again like this. But let me tell you, the people that has opportunities in life and the people who knows that will have enough opportunity because you have studies, because you have relationships, because you are in a country that your government is going to help you to 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 oversee the to how do you say to to over- overcome to overcome the mm-hmm. coronavirus crisis. You are in a country that has money, okay? Then, just because you live in a country that your government is helping you or you have better opportunities, we can turn our face and say, God is the same. God has given me the opportunity to be in this country, to have more. Then I will give anything, $10, $20, $50, whatever you can give. Mm -hmm. Because these people has lack of opportunities. And that's sedaka, that's social justice. That's the way to think. It's not because we're good. It's not because I'm blessed. No, it's because we are justice. If we have had opportunities, we have got to be justice, to be with justice. So if we go and give, Let's do it because it's our responsibility. We're, we are much more blessed than most of the people in the world. So that's how I feel. I don't yes. do goodness. What we need is to, to, do, to be stable, to have monthly donation. You go to our webpage, that is comisionunidos.org. I don't know if you can write it. I don't know if... Yeah, I, I can um, certainly post it on with um, this uh, radio interview and mm-hmm. let the uh, listeners um, know exactly how to get on. And um, then they'll be able to um, go there and give an offering, hopefully a monthly offering, and also b- purchase your book. Yes, please. Comisionunidos.org um, has... In, in when, when it says donation, then you can put uh, a monthly donation. It's very secure. There is pre- PayPal and everything. And, and that is what can give us the monthly stability to accept more children and to be able to, 
to help the ones we have. We have problems now because of the business people who has always given us, and now we're praying for them because most of the people are in problems. Yeah. Rosie, thank you so much for being on Faith City Outreach. Faith City Outreach can be heard daily, Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. Arizona time and 7 p.m. Eastern time. Faith City Outreach thanks Global Women Christian Chamber of Commerce Embassy and Four Winds Ministries for being supporters. Psalm 117, praise the Lord all you nations, extol him all you peoples, for great is his love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. You have been listening to Faith City Outreach with Marina Maria as she interviews Christian pastors and leaders to discuss scriptures and topics affecting the Christian community and to pray for the nations. If you need to contact Marina Maria, please email her at fcoprogram at gmail.com. That email again is fcoprogram at gmail.com. Until next time, Marina wants to remind you from Matthew 6, 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The music used in this broadcast is used courtesy of Zapswat.com.